Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with my Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Okay, so earlier today I did a review of the first beta, the Android 11 One UI 3.0 first beta for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Um, I did a full review on it. Be sure to go check out the review. The link will be pinned in the comment section down below. Be sure to go check out that video, watch it. Um, but yeah, moments ago, I just checked my members application and I have seen a notification letting me know that there's now a second beta software update available with today's date, November the 24th. So it has gone live, November the 24th there. So hello, thank you for participating in the One UI beta program, the second beta software update that contains implementation of your valuable feedback is available now. Please update the latest beta software version of your convenience and improved device stability. Okay, so this contains bug fixes. So there's bug fix fixes for the wearable compatibility problem improved fixed wi-fi exceptional ssid recognition error resolves battery over consumption and heat generation improvement of touch recognition rate fix the problem that ends when entering the mobile hotspot setting system is more stable system performance is partially improved thank you india beta team we hey, that's what I like to see, guys. Okay, so let me go into software update and let's see. Download and install. Okay, so this is the second beta, guys. What's new? Samsung Dex, wireless Dex, quick panel Dex, screen zoom, and front size. Font size options are supported. Wi-Fi rules, blah de blah de blah. Always on display emoji stickers are supported. And always on display clock style. Wow. I'll be checking that out. Samsung keyboard, a new feature has been added to the keyboard search feature that allows the user to search YouTube. Split keyboard is supported on landscape mode. Research function of the manage input languages screen and the keyboard setting page has been newly updated to make it easy to find keyboard input languages camera of a pro video feature has been enhanced so quite a lot quite a lot has been um, improved and added with this second beta and the size is 584 point 21 megabytes so guys i'm going to download this and then come back once it's installed okay so it's a quick download it's going to take roughly three minutes to download and then a few more minutes to install so i'll be back once it's finished downloading guys and we'll take a look Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor. I'm back. So I've just installed the second beta, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to show you all some of the new changes. Okay, so when you go into the messages here and the settings. languages and types manage input languages the search function here manage input languages um, the keyboard settings page has been newly updated to make it easy to find keyboard input languages that the user wishes to add or delete so basically you can just type in whatever language you want now and it's easier to find. 
So I've just typed in German. And as you can see, it's popped up straight away. Also, when you go to the mode option here, we now have this split keyboard option. So now when you rotate the phone like that, as you can see, we now have a split keyboard. And I must say the animations are very smooth and fast. Okay, another thing is um, when you select edit options there, I think this is new enhanced processing okay where is it gone Enhanced processing, get faster data processing for the most demanding apps and games, uses more battery. So I think that's new, I do not remember seeing this before on Android 10. And I'm going to show you something else real quick. Um... When you go into lock screen and clock style, always on display. You can now add emojis to your lock screen so I created my well I created an emoji of myself by taking a selfie um, so now I'm just gonna add where is it okay I'll add this one to my lock screen. So as you can see there, I've got a emoji of myself there on the lock screen. So yeah, this is the second beta that is now available for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Um, there's quite a lot of other tweaks and features. Um, I don't want to make the video too long, but I just showed you some of the most interesting ones there. But there's quite a few um, under the hood tweaks as well with this um, second beta. There's a lot of bug fixes like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So yeah, that's it for the video. Be sure to like the video, share the video. It's your boy the Android Doctor and I'm out. Deuces.